In this video, we will see how we can post process data in Leica Infinity software. We presume that we have already defined coordinate system in the project. So I need to go to new project. I need to just give a project name. So let's say training. I need to define my desired angles. So here I'm defining degree, minute and second. I need to define a coordinate system which is WGS 84 UTM 45 North underscore area. Now I can click on create. So a blank project is created by assigning a coordinate system and defining my desired units. Now this is a blank project and I need to import the raw data. So I click on import. I choose the files raw data file from the two receivers. So this is one of the files. I will again choose another file which is in this folder. I again click on import. These are my two files. So if I zoom I can see that my base receiver is on for 6 minutes and 33 seconds. My rover receiver is on for 5 minutes and 3 seconds. However, the common time is less as compared to the total time on of the receivers. Now, if I click on feature and click on the points, I can see uh, this is the information for raw GNSS observation. So we can see the 3D quality is very poor in this case currently because we have not yet processed the data. So we can see the 3D quality is like within 4 meters approximately. In XY we are deviating within 2 meters approximately 1.65 meters. Now in order to post process the data what I can do is I can click on GNSS tab I can define this is my base point so what I can do is I can put it as a reference this is one option and then because I need to process the data assuming this as a base so I need to put it as a reference for the rovers I right click and click on the rover so so in order to process the data I need to right click I need to process it so my data is processed now I can see this is my post processing result my data is processed my this is from station my point ID GPS 0001 is processed with reference to my base point the solution type is face and fixed my GNSS receivers is capable enough of capturing GPS and GLONASS, GLONASS satellites these receivers can track l1 and l2 both i have done the survey in static mode this is my start time and end time total common duration of both the receivers is one minute and 44 seconds this is just a sample training data so we have just captured the data for a very short duration otherwise as recommended like for mining applications for other applications for accurate results we recommend to capture it for around two hours or as per your project requirements now the height is also defined this is the antenna name we also have uh, grid easting and northing values we have ortho heights so this is the information post process information now in order to see the result information i click on the feature i click on okay I need to store the data so I right click and store once we click on the store then my data will be stored accordingly now what we can see is my reference point because this is an autonomous data my accuracy will remain same which is in the 3d mode it's deviating around 4 meters and 1.6 meters which is as this is same as autonomous data so I have processed 
my rover data which is GPS 0001 with reference to my base. Now after post processing you can see the deviation in 3D quality is 0.001 meters that means 1 millimeters. So after the post processing my results are very good despite I have kept it for a very short duration. So the relative data after the post processing will be accurate. Generally this GNSS coordinates we put a base station on a known coordinate so we need to enter the coordinate of this particular point. So we need to right click, we need to assign control. Now I have an option to define control coordinates. So I right click, I go to properties, I have the properties of my base receiver. Now I click on edit. Now I have the option to edit the row autonomous coordinates. I need to replace them with the known coordinates which we have already established as a control point. So I can do the change. For example, just for the reference, I'm just making it 76. I'm making it 1. I'm just changing the elevation also. I have made some changes so I need to click on apply after the apply it's giving me information that I have already made some modifications in one station and which will be affecting one another station or the measured point so I click on OK once I click OK my coordinates will be updated with reference to my base coordinates so now Once I check the coordinates values, these will be updated as per my base coordinates.